Hey everybody, John here. Thank you for joining me yet again. As if I'm not fat enough just by drinking beer alone, today we're gonna make beer bread. All I wanna do is drink beer for breakfast. All I wanna eat is them barbecue chips. Alright, this recipe is really simple. It's got only a few ingredients. You have three cups of self-rising flour, not all-purpose. You have a half cup of granulated white sugar and you have 12 ounces of beer. That is all that goes into making this bread. That is it. The butter that you see here is used to top it in the very end. Those are all your ingredients. All right, everybody, like I said, this is such a simple recipe. I got this recipe from my friend Jared. Jared, if you're watching, two thumbs up. If you're not watching, well, you should be watching. Uh, starts out with three cups of all-purpose, sorry, self-rising flour, not all-purpose and a half a cup of granulated sugar, you throw that in there. The two tablespoons of butter that we were talking about earlier, we use at the end. It just has to be softened so that we can spread it on there. So we'll microwave that in a second. The last ingredient is 12 ounces of beer. Now, those of you who have seen my stuff before will know that I always have enough beer left over for the chef. And you say, it calls for 12 ounces. John, you have one bottle of beer. Yeah, we prepared for this, okay? First of all, if anybody of you have ever tried Smithwick's, you will know that Smithwick's is 11.2 ounces per bottle, not 12 ounces like your average bottle is. So, what we have is a backup beer. Now, if I'm actually being honest with you, the last couple times I've made this recipe, I never added the extra ounces to this. So what that does is that just leaves me with more beer for the chef. It's always good to be prepared. Now, I am using Smithwick's for this. I've tried it with a couple different beers. I've tried it with stouts. The stouts came out a little bit too bitter for a bread that I liked. It kind of cut the sweetness a little too much. I've tried it with lagers and pilsners. They don't really come through the way uh, you would expect to. Um, I have found that a brown ale or a red ale work the best. Now, red ale, I've always stuck with this just because it, it just seems to taste better in the final product. Um, if you notice today, I poured this into the glass I poured into is Copper Tail Brewing. It's one of my favorite local breweries here in Tampa. If any of you guys come to Tampa, let me know. I'd love to turn you on to this and take you out there and show you. After this right now, all we gotta do is stir this up and it all goes into a pot. So we're gonna start mixing this up. This recipe, when you stick it, should be sticky. Kind of like a muffin batter. If you've ever made muffins, blueberry muffins, something like that, it's really sticky. It's gonna be the same type. What you're essentially making is a quick bread. It's very simple to make. Uh, very quick and um, it just takes some time to incorporate all the stuff without throwing it all over the kitchen. This is very taxing, it's very tiring, I need a break. Okay, we're good. Okay, now that we are all mixed up, it's very simple from here. All we gotta do is grease up a bowl. Boom, grease bowl. And we pour all this stuff into it. You'll notice by now, the self-rising flour is starting to produce the bubbles and stuff in there. That's really good. I told you it was gonna be really sticky. Here we go, just like that. I like to smooth mine down just a little bit, if you can. If you wanna play a funny joke on your kids, have them lick that. It does not taste very good at this moment. But now, in the oven. Cook time. Start. All right, we just took our bread out. What we got to do is take that butter that we set aside before. We have it nice and melted now, and we're going to brush this right on the top. Once we get it brushed in, we're gonna put it in for another three minutes just to brown up just a little bit more. It's already looking good, but this will take a little bit of that dryness off 
the top. It's gonna be beautiful. Once we got the butter on that, it is back in the oven for about three more minutes. A few moments later. All right, we've had this in here for another three minutes. It is time to take it out and let it cool. Looks beautiful, smells fantastic. YouTube's gotta get a smell function going and you guys would like it if it did. All right, everybody, everything is good so far. We've taken it out, we've basted it, and it's cooled down enough where we can take it out of the baking dish that we had it in originally. Um, it's still a little bit warm, but I think we could probably go ahead and get a cut on it. So we're gonna do that here in just a second. I would like to thank everybody out there who's been supporting me so far. We're still a very young channel. This is a fun project that me and my kids are doing together. I really hope you try this recipe and I hope you like it because it is very good. If you like our video, please pound that like button for us. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you and we'll see you next time around.